guys, how are you? Good morning. Now, normally we have our Easter celebration in church, but due to this unfortunate situation, we still can't meet. But a very, very warm welcome to you all anyway. Now, Claire, what's today's theme? A cross to believe. And what crosses do you have? I have my necklace. I also have a key ring that I put on my keys and a cross that when I do my prayers, I sit and hold it. Also, I see other crosses when I go out and about. So, during this Easter time, I see a lot more crosses on yummy food like hot cross buns. <sighs> So, Ali, what does the hot cross bun represent? Well, the cross is for Jesus, right, as he died on the cross. And the bun, which is a circle around the edge, represents his tomb. Now, during Easter time, uh, we want to see if you can find any crosses of your own on your normal out and about walks. And you can take photos and put them on our Facebook page. Now, Claire, do you know why we wear crosses? I always thought it was to do with Jesus dying on the cross. That is right. And did you know, he didn't just stay dead what? on that cross. Because after he died, he was laid in a tomb. And where? He came alive again. No! Which is amazing! After three whole days. And which is why today's theme is a cross to believe. Now we are going to sing Jesus Loves Me. So hopefully we can hear all of you singing the song as we know you all know it. And followed by Fun Fish bringing us the story. Fantastic and we'll see you later. Bye for now. Jesus loves me and this I know For the Bible tells me so Little ones to him belong They are weak but he is strong Yes, Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me The Bible tells me so Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gate to open wide. He will wash away my sin, let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so Yes, Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me The Bible tells me so A dreadful day. The leaders of the Jewish people were very angry with Jesus. They didn't like what he said about God and themselves. Even though Jesus helped lots of people, they were jealous because the ordinary people loved him. One evening, when Jesus and his friends had finished their special goodbye meal, they walked to a beautiful garden to pray. Jesus' enemies came and found him there. It was a frightening time because they'd come with big sticks and flaming torches. Judas, who was one of Jesus' friends, had told the enemies where Jesus would be so they could arrest him. This made Jesus very sad about Judas betraying him. Jesus was even more sad when his other friends had run away because they were scared. Only Peter stayed with him. P 
Peter wanted to fight, but Jesus said to him, Peter, put your sword away. I have to go with these men. It's what God wants me to do. Then Peter crept away and watched from a distance as the men took Jesus away. Then he followed Jesus and the enemies. Jesus was taken to the court where the religious leaders were waiting for his trial. People there accused him of doing lots of different things. He said he would knock down the temple. He said he's a special king. He causes lots of trouble. Now, none of these things were true, but the leaders didn't care as they wanted him killed. They hurt Jesus and they laughed at him. Although Jesus was injured, he didn't say anything back to them. He was feeling very, very sad by now. They built a heavy wooden cross and made Jesus carry it through the streets till he got to a nearby hill. Some people shouted nasty things at him. Boy, look at you, you're not so clever now, are you? Other people cried. <laughs> because they had believed Jesus would save them from the Roman soldiers. Now some of these Roman soldiers fixed Jesus to the cross and stood it up. It was very painful for him. Two men were on the crosses next to Jesus and one shouted, Oi, can't you help us get down from here? But the other one said, We've been bad, but you know Jesus hasn't done anything wrong. Now Jesus told that man he would remember him. Soon the sky grew dark and the earth shook. It was as if God's own heart was breaking. And then it happened. Jesus whispered, It's all finished. And then he died and his body was laid in a cave. But very early on a Sunday morning, when some ladies went to take flowers to the cave, the ground began to tremble again. Suddenly, an angel appeared at the front of the cave and told them, Jesus is not here. He is alive again, just as he told you. Go and tell all his friends. Now, when Jesus' friends heard this amazing news, they were very happy. And did you know, we can be very happy too, because Jesus is alive and still with us today. Thank you Fun Fish and Friends for bringing us the Easter story. Now this Easter we have a choice, just like the people in the story today. We can choose to believe in Jesus, like his friends, people who followed him, and the man on the cross who asked Jesus to remember him. Or we can be like the Roman soldiers, the religious leaders, and the people who didn't believe who Jesus was. You know, Jesus wants us all to be his friends. And this year, where we haven't been able to meet face to face, remember that you are not alone. And God loves you. You are important. And God always...
Jesus. I believe he is alive. Oh, oh, I believe he's my savior. I'm gonna love him and adore him. Worship and I'll sing to him. Cause I know that Jesus is alive. Each other, showing us how to be the power of his spirit, bringing his kingdom, reigning in majesty, and he lives in me. I believe in Jesus, Sam. I believe he is alive. Oh, oh, I believe he's my savior Cause I know that Jesus is alive Yeah Cause I know that Jesus is alive Oh Cause I know that Jesus is alive He's alive, yeah I know that Jesus is alive is alive. Yeah. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord God, for Jesus, that he went to the cross for each one of us. Thank you that he died and rose again to bring new life. Sorry for when we don't listen to what you ask us to do and we do our own thing. Please forgive us for all those things that have not made you happy. Lord, we pray that you would help us each day to listen to you. In Jesus name. Amen. Okay, then we've only got two notices today. The first one is toddler starts back on Wednesday, April the 14th. But due to current climate, we still have to meet online. But if that all changes, we will let you know. So don't worry. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to see each other very, very soon. Now me and Ali's going to do the craft for this one and we would love to see your crafts so if you would don't mind taking photos and that and putting them on our Facebook page it would be absolutely fantastic to see them. Brilliant. Okay. Hi guys, today's craft we've got three sorts. They're all to do with crosses. So for your first one, we are going to do a lolly stick cross. So you will need some lolly sticks and some glue. If you haven't got any lolly sticks, don't worry. Um, you could always try having ice cream over Easter. And it's a good excuse. So what you'll need to do is get your two lolly sticks and glue them together. Oh, this is the sticky part of the thing. The icky sticky glue. Yeah. I love icky sticky glue. And then you've got to hold it for a little bit to let it dry. So we'll let it dry. What's your favourite part of doing a craft alley? Oh, well, I love the icky sticky glue. And I also love decorating things afterwards. Oh. And what it looks like, you know, when the craft's completely done, that's what I really love to see the finished product. Finished so, we product. would love to see your product, yeah, exactly. So, I've let it uh, let it dry, <laughs> and then I wrote on mine, and it says, I believe in Jesus. <laughs> now, if you haven't got any lolly sticks, we have also got another way of doing a craft. And now this involves going for a walk 
And you know, like we mentioned earlier, where you can see if you can find any crosses when you're walking around. You can also find two sticks, like this. So on this one, you need two sticks and some string. Now you make a cross shape, like that, and then you get your string, and you wrap it around, and you wrap it around again, like that, and then you wrap it around again. And while I'm doing this, Claire is going to teach you how, if you don't go for walks, or you fancy doing something at home because the weather's not very nice, Claire's going to teach you another craft, which also is a cross. So you'll need some white paper, card, whatever, and some colouring pencils, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. Now be really careful with the scissors because they are very dangerous. Always ask, Always an, ask adult. an adult. So I'm going to draw a cross. So here is my cross. Now I'm going to cut it out and I'm thinking I could do it by hanging it when I've coloured it in out of my window. That's a good idea, Claire. So when I have cut my cross out, I am going to need to put a hole in it so that I can put some ribbon or some string so that we can hang it for everybody to see. I'm thinking I'll go for some string at the moment. I think that's a good idea. So we're going to do the string into the hole. Now, I don't know if you can see the little hole, but there's a little hole there. This is where I should have got Bella to help because she likes doing colouring in. And you lot are all really creative and we love seeing all your colouring ins as well. So as you can see, while Claire's doing that, with the cross on the plate, you just wrap the string around, holding it in the middle, around the two slips. And you just tie a knot to finish it off with. Now, I haven't done a really good job of my colouring in, but I've done a little bit of it. There we go. And there is my string so I can hang it up. We would love to see your creations. If you can do all three, that would be brilliant. If not, one would be even nicer. So, you just enjoy yourself on any craft that you do and we'll hope to see you all after Easter. Have fun! Bye! Bye. Thank you for watching. Okay, right, so for me and Claire, we hope, and the rest of the toddlers team, we hope that you have a fantastic Easter holidays. And Try not to eat too much chocolate. Exactly. <laughs> and remember, that we love you all and we hope to see you all very soon. Okay, bye for now.